After driving across Canada, visiting the Canadian Rockies, the Canadian Prairies, and parts of Ontario, it's finally time to head back home. Come join my family and I as we drive from Toronto to Vancouver. My name is Gary, and this is G from BC, the Cross Canada Family Road Trip Series. Let's go. What's up guys, Gary here from G from BC with another episode of the Cross Canada Road Trip Series. We're on our way to Wawa, Ontario. We just left my aunt's house. I just wanna say thank you to uh, Uncle Said and uh, Auntie Elma for the hospitality, for having us over at their place uh, the last couple of days over in uh, Toronto. I truly appreciate that, guys. Like I said, we're on our way to Wawa, Ontario. It's gonna be our first stop uh, on our way back to uh, British Columbia. Pretty excited. I mean, the sun is out right now and we're gonna be um, checking out Wawa Lake as well. I uh, didn't get to check that out when we uh, went there the first time. We actually passed by Wawa on the way to Toronto, but we didn't stop too long. Um, we were trying to look for some somewhere to eat over there, but uh, I think most of it wasn't uh, open during that time. So time to keep on driving. I uh, got a lot of hours to uh, go before we get there. We should be arriving there in about eight hours and it's currently eight o'clock. So hopefully we can get there by four or five p.m. today. All right guys, so this is the first time I've uh, seen this one. I've seen it in a commercial. Uh, it's the caffeine version of uh, the Coca-Cola. So I'm gonna try it out. See if it tastes any good. That's not bad. Kinda tastes like, honestly kinda tastes like iced tea. It's not bad. showed him uh, what what I was looking at with the drone shot so um, yeah if if that cop is ever watching this video uh, shout out to you thank you so much for uh, just checking up on my family but all in all uh, yeah it was an interesting uh, interaction but yeah it was pretty cool just wanted to kind of just add that as a uh, kind of funny situation that I was put uh, during uh, flying that drone I can tell you my problems, I can tell you my sins, I can tell you my problems, I'm uncomfortable in my skin, I'm uncomfortable with my ends, I'm uncomfortable with my friends, I'm uncomfortable with my drinking, I'm uncomfortable with my thinking, I'm uncomfortable with my ways, I'm uncomfortable in this space, I'm uncomfortable on good days, I'm uncomfortable on bad days, I'm uncomfortable with my soul, I'm uncomfortable with my heart, I'm uncomfortable with myself, I'm uncomfortable with my heart, I'm uncomfortable with my thoughts, I'm uncomfortable with my feelings, and sadly I'm uncomfortable with healing. I can't hold a frown too long I can't stay down too long Look, Running from pain, running from strain Running from things, running from schemes I can't hold a frown too long I can't stay down too long Look, Running from pain, running from strain Running from things, running from schemes That's a pretty cool experience right there First time seeing a moose in the wild actually and uh yeah it's pretty huge um yeah I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a female uh moose either that or it's a it's a younger moose i guess but uh yeah it's i think i believe it's a female moose it's pretty big i'll be honest yeah the 
video isn't doing it justice, I'm pretty sure, but that moose was pretty big. Uh, Joe, first time seeing your moose. Yeah, it was huge. It That's was it? Kind of, I don't know what to say. <laughs> finally, it was pretty cool finally yeah. seeing one because yeah. I've been wanting to see one um, for a long time. Uh, that's actually same here. First time seeing a, uh, a natural wild moose in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the wild. Dad, how about you? Thumbs up. <laughs> that's it. All right. Well, we're um, about 20 minutes away from a Wawa right now, and uh, yeah, we should be there in about 20 minutes. And we just got to Wawa Lake. Got lucky. I thought it was going to start raining. Um, unfortunately, I can't use my drone to fly here right now. They have the water planes over there. So I don't think I can fly my drone here. Um, but yeah, this is Wawa Lake. It's pretty nice. They actually have a little beach area as well too, which is awesome. Glad to, glad that it didn't rain, like I said and we got to see this really quickly i think we're just gonna chill here for a little bit and then start heading to uh the hotel but before that we're probably gonna hit up uh the wawa goose All right, guys, just got to the information center. Oh, unfortunately, they're closed. So I'm just gonna check out the Wawa Goose, which is right there. Here is the Wawa Goose, famous Wawa Goose. So yeah, guys, that is the Wawa Goose just on our way to the hotel. And uh, that will be the end of the day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day, day 11 on our way to Winnipeg. It's gonna be the, probably the second longest drive we're gonna be doing uh, in this whole trip. It's about 12 and a half hours. We're already an hour, I'd say an hour in the trip. We just left Wawa. And uh, yeah, we got a good sleep. Uh, just driving right now on the highway, uh, hoping I can find a uh, place to get coffee. Because uh, I made a mistake of leaving Wawa without getting uh, coffee over at the Tim Hortons over there. So uh, just hoping we can get grab one uh, just to get the, the caffeine fix. It's gonna be a long drive. Let's get to it. got to the Terry Fox lookout we were actually supposed to do this on the way to Toronto but we got to Thunder Bay pretty late so we're going there right now
pretty sweet lookout. If you guys look here, I mean, you get to see uh, Lake Superior just right there. Beautiful. And then down there is just Thunder Bay. Here's the Terry Fox statue. Actually, just down the road is where he stopped uh, his walk. Uh, I actually had a plaque over there. Didn't get to film it, but yeah, it's just down the road that way. We're just gonna hang out here for a little bit, take some pictures, and uh, probably start heading towards Winnipeg as it's gonna take another six hours or so just to get there. But all in all, I'm very happy that we got to visit the Terry Fox statue. We are currently at Kenora, Ontario, just two hours away from Winnipeg. And uh, yeah, the drive's been awesome. Wish I had a little bit more time. Uh, would have loved to have uh, flown my drone in this area. There's so many lakes in this area. And um, yeah, and that's why I guess they call it uh, Lake of the Woods. Before we head to our hotel, we're actually gonna pass by the center of Canada uh, park. Probably gonna take some pictures and uh, maybe even fly my drone in that area. But the drive across Ontario is definitely long like it is definitely a wide province it pretty much takes about almost a day just to go across from east to west can't wait to actually hit up the hotel and uh, rest for tonight so as we entered manitoba it started downpouring it was actually raining pretty hard and then it got cloudy and then now it's sunny so which is awesome because we are at the center of Canada. Let's go check it out. This is pretty cool. Just a sign. Center of Canada. A little wet just because it just rained a bit earlier. Here's another sign. Center of Canada. And this is the official one right here. That's pretty cool. All right, I think we're just gonna take some pictures and then start heading to our hotel. Hi, yo. Hello. Hello, my boys. Hello. Oh, Hi. So cute. Hi, eggs. All of day 12 was pretty much all driving since we plan on driving from Winnipeg to Calgary all in one day. This drive took us about 13 hours in total even when we left Winnipeg very early in the morning, we still arrived late in the evening in Calgary. Good morning everybody, day 14. Didn't get to film anything yesterday, decided to just call it, you know, like a day off, I guess. And uh, just hung around with family uh, during that time. And uh, you guys can see, got a haircut, everything else. Just, yeah, just relaxed after driving three days straight. Uh, within like three provinces, yeah, it kind of kind of catches up to you. So we kind of just rested. Uh, right now we're on the road on the way back to BC. Uh, we're just passing by Banff right now, and uh, we're gonna pass by uh, a place I haven't been to yet. I believe even my the rest of my family has it. It's called Emerald Lake, down in uh, BC side of uh, the Glacier uh, Mountains or the Rocky Mountains. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go check it out right now. We're only an hour away, so uh, come join us. I circled around this area. I was gonna quit actually, uh, da, this last one, but I uh, found a spot to park around Emerald Lake. <laughs> Kinda crazy, it's a touristy spot, so there's a lot of people. But uh, yeah, I'm on my way there right now. I have to check it out. Emerald Lake is located in the Yoho National Park on the British Columbia side of the Canadian Rockies. With a stunning emerald color, it's one of the most photographed lakes in North America. Just like Lake Louise, it offers abundance of hiking trails and canoeing during the summer. 
while during the winter, it offers easy access to cross-country skiing and winter activities. Since it's well known, it attracts tons of tourists, which was evident during our visit. Also, the lack of parking space got me a bit frustrated. So, if you plan on visiting Emerald Lake, it's best to get there super early to beat the rush, or you can always stay at the Emerald Lake Lodge, which overlooks the lake. Just finished over at uh, <laughs> Emerald Lake. Just about to head to the, <laughs> the hotel down in uh, Rebel Silk. Uh, probably gonna have lunch soon, but <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of tourists. Parking is bad. <laughs> yeah, parking is bad. There's so many people here, so better to go on a tour bus. Exactly. Or so come here super early. Exactly. I think going here early is a lot better. But anyways, uh, we're on our way back to the RAV4 and uh, head into Rebel Stoke now. Alright guys, just got to the Revelstoke Railway Museum. I'm gonna go check it out. Alright guys, so <laughs> got there a little too late. Uh, 30 minutes won't be enough uh, as the person in the front said so. So we'll be just back here at 9 o'clock sharp to go check it out. Anyways, um, we might go check out the town and we'll see how that goes. Alright, take two on going to the uh, Revelstoke Railway Museum. Uh, we're here already in the next day, so let's go check it out. The Revelstoke Railway Museum is located in the city of Revelstoke. The museum was built in 1992 and opened its doors to the public in 1993. It showcases the historic construction and operation of the Canadian Pacific Railway in Western Canada's mountain region. It features both indoor and outdoor exhibits of heritage rail cars, engines, antiques, and artifacts. Since I enjoy history, this was a bucket list stop for me, plus who doesn't love trains as a kid? If you are planning on visiting the museum, they recommend that you set aside at least an hour and a half, two hours during your visit. Ghost? The bigger room, the single room. Oh yeah, yeah. this is for nicer. this is for the rich rich. Cute. Yeah, this is for the, I guess it's like for one person or like a family. That's pretty cool. Kitchen, coach part, right? Awesome. That's awesome, man. It's so even back then, it's so luxurious. Eh? It's pretty cool. Conductor Jillian. Move the other ones to the right. This one? All of them. Yeah, and then the other one. That's Set, it. Set, reverse to forward. Yeah. Oh, oh, here we go, Jillian! <laughs> Conductor Jillian, let's go. Okay, we're, uh, we're heading to, I don't know where we're going, but... Oh, here we go. Chugga, 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 chugga. Whoa! <laughs> do it again, do it again. That's so cool. Oh, there's a bell. Yeah, you can just play around with it. So you pretend that you're doing it. That's so cool. Hey, can I try? Yeah, come. All right, speed up. Oh, there, Jill. I know. Bell. How fast are we going? We gotta get to 80. It's speed. Stop. There you go. I'm gonna go fast. <laughs> oh yeah, you are. 
What did you do? I just went for a throttle, baby. There you go. Keep it like that. What is this? Oh, this stuff light. Oh, yeah. It's reaching up to 40 miles per hour. Cowboy, baby. You'd be a scary railroad <laughs> driver. I'm Dr. Gary. Let's see where he's going. It's too fast, too furious. We're hitting 50. Hitting 50. Jump. Do the bell, I mean do the horn. Oh, cowboy baby. Oh, I'm gonna hit something. Oh no! Oh, the oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they moved out of the way. Oh no, <clears throat> Jill, hold your breath. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> that was the fastest one. Yeah, do the bell again. Oh, fuel warning! Fuel warning! Oh no! No, bricks. Press the fuel warning. No, we can't. Oh. Oh. Uh. That's it! After checking out the train yard outside, it's time for us to head on down to the Soyuz. Emerald Lake would look nice there. Close your eyes. Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest I know you've had A really bad day But I'm right here, it's gone just got to Kelowna, about to have lunch. Back in the car, about to leave Kelowna for Osoyas. Uh, we're staying at a hotel, motel I believe, hotel motel uh, tonight. So should be just another hour or so until we get to Osoyas, depending on the traffic. It is Saturday today, so we'll see. Could be a, a lot faster to get there. Uh, but all in all, had some good tacos during lunch at Let Taqueria. I don't know exactly what the road that we were on, but yeah, it was delicious. My dad's gonna be driving now. Had a little bit of, little bit of drink. Had a bit of a drink. Had some margaritas. Uh, just about to leave and head to Osoyas. Day 16, last day of the trip, and we're headed home. We're planning on checking out Spotted Lake located northwest of Osoyoos, but it wasn't open for the public. Here's how it looks like from afar. Since Spotted Lake was a fail, we decided that Manning Provincial Park would be the last stop before we head home. got to Manning Park. We're at Lightning Lake. First time being here. Man, it's a really nice spot. Probably gonna go here 
I just mentioned it, planning to maybe go here again uh, to go camping and probably stay for like a couple of days or so, but all in all looks pretty sick. Let's go check out the lake. Too bad I can't fly my drone. Up here, we're we're. This is my drone shot. Canada, USA border. What ship, else? Ship what? Mountain USA. <laughs> <laughs> Wind Joe. <laughs> the Parks USA. Mount Frosty Mount Sue USA Fox Peak Big Slime Skyline Ridge Last one, let's go Red Lift And that's all folks. Just went to the Cascade Lookout over here in Manning Park. Uh, I really wish I could have fly my drone, but um, I guess you guys will just have to enjoy the makeshift drone shot with my GoPro. So but anyways, uh, we're on our way back and down now, on our way home. I think that's pretty much it for this video. So if you guys like the video, um, and you guys enjoyed the whole series or if you haven't watched the series go check it out But if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so Please subscribe to the channel also hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any future videos until next time guys like always stay awesome What's up guys welcome to another episode of the cross Canada Sleeping on the wheel. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's sunny now. What the hey? Ice cold. Come here, my Duncan. Exit, your dad's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Sunbuckle. Oh, 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 oh,